हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन कॉन्टिन्यूटी एंड डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी पार्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव सो नाउ वी हैव लर्न लॉग्स नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज वाई डिड वी स्टडी लॉग इन द डेरिवेटिव चैप्टर द रीजन वी स्टडी लॉग इन डेरिवेटिव चैप्टर इज बिकॉज लॉग makes derivation simple with log the derivation is simple i'll tell you some examples of this so let's try first let's derive the derivative of exponential and log so the derivative of e to the power x the exponential function is e to the power x itself so if y is equal to e to the power x dy by dx is e to the power x similarly For y is equal to log x, the derivative is one by x. I don't have a proof for this, but just remember this: if y is equal to e to the power x, y dash is e to the power x itself. If y is equal to log x, y dash is one by x. So this is one formula, and this guy is another formula. So please remember this formula. For e to the power x, if you differentiate, there is no change. It is e to the power x itself. If y is equal to log x, y dash is one by x. So let's take some example where we actually use log to make our life simple. So before we actually use logs to make our life simple, let's try to some uh, solve some of the questions where we will have e to the power x or log x as the values, so that we get comfortable in differentiating. The terms which has e to the power x or log x. So the first example is e to the power x by sine x. So this guy has e to the power x here. So in this, we are just trying to solve some questions which has e to the power x or log x. Why? Because once we are comfortable, we'll tell you how log will make differentiation simple. But just now, we'll take two three examples where we'll practice differentiating e to the power x and log x kind of thing. The first example is this. Y is equal to e to the power x by sine x. So if you observe carefully, this guy how to differentiate? This guy is or something u by v form, correct? So if my y is equal to u by v, y dash is nothing but v square u dash v minus u v dash, correct? The product rule. Same thing we'll do here. Y dash will be nothing but v is sine x sine x square. Into d by dx of e to the power x multiply by v that is sine x minus e to the power x into d by dx of v that is sine x. Correct. So e to the power x if you differentiate you get the same value. Sine x is sine x minus e to the power x. Differentiation of sine x with respect to x is cos x. By sine x square. So this is nothing but e to the power x common sine x minus cos x by sine x square, and that is my answer. So why we are solving this? Because we are trying to get ourselves comfortable with kind of uh, equations where we have e to the power x or log x. Let's take one more example: e to the power sine inverse x. Now, if you see this kind of question, this is nothing but composite function. Why? Because we know that if my let's suppose f x is equal to e to the power x and g x is equal to sine inverse x, this is nothing but f of g. Correct? Because you take sine inverse x first and then you take e to the power x of this. So what I can do is I can write sine inverse x s t, so I'll get the equation sine inverse x s t is my first equation, and then y is equal to e to the power t my second equation. From this equation, I'll get dx by dt. Here, I'll get dy by dt. So what I'm looking is for dy by dx. That is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx. Correct. So let's find dy by dt and dy by dx. So for dy by dt, let's differentiate this guy. 
So y is equal to e to the power t, I get dy by dt as e to the power t. My first equation. I have got this value that is e to the power t. Now I have to find dt by dx. I have t is equal to sine inverse x. So my dt by dx is nothing but 1 by root 1 minus x square. Direct use of formula. So this becomes 1 by root 1 minus x square. So my dy by dx is this guy. But I don't know what is t. I should write everything in forms of x. So let me replace t with sine inverse x now. So this becomes e to the power sine inverse x into 1 by root 1 minus x square. And that is my answer. So very simple what we have done. We are just trying to make ourselves comfortable with the law, uh, the expressions which has e to the power x. Here we saw this is a composite function. I could see that this is nothing but f of g function. So I wrote sine was x as t. So this become uh, one equation and y is equal to e to the power t is second equation. I know dy by dx is dy by dt and dt by dx provided dy by dt and dt by dx exist. And we found that dy by dt and dt by ds exists and we placed the value and got the answer. Let's take one more example which is log now. So y is equal to log of cos e to the power x. If you see this is also a composite function but it is a super complex function because this guy can put as t you see this is a composite function so one way we can do is we can say cos e to the power x as t and then we can solve correct or or what we can do is we can directly try to differentiate I'll, I'll give you one uh, trick how to do this so we have to differentiate this function y is equal to log cos e to the power x so if you see this is a composite function, if you put this guy as t, this becomes y is equal to log t and the next equation I get is t is equal to cos e to the power x. This guy also is a composite function if you see. So if I put e to the power x as let's suppose uh, z, so this becomes t is equal to cos z and z is equal to e to the power x. So it's like we have a function of this form f of g of h because this is the kind of function I have. Actually in this case we have yeah this is the kind of function we have. So either we can do like this we can uh, to find dy by dx what we can do is I can find dy by dt here right from this from this I can find dt by dz into dt by dz and from this I can find dz by dx into dz by dx so this is nothing but dy by dx so let's do this let's find dy by dt so y is equal to log t dy by dt is nothing but 1 by x that is 1 by t 1 by t you can read clearly 1 by t so I got dy by dt second thing I need dt by dz so I have this equation t is equal to cos z t is equal to cos z so I get dt by dz as nothing but minus sine z Correct. And then I need dz by dx. So I have this equation in term of z and x. So z is equal to e to the power x. So I get dz by dx as nothing but e to the power x. So now since I have 1 by t, I don't want equation in form of t. I want equation in form of x only. So t is nothing but e to the power cos x. This is nothing but 1 by cos of e to the power x. Correct. Because t is cos of e to the power x. Similarly, z is there and I don't want z, I want something in the form of x. 
So z is nothing but e to the power x. So this becomes minus sine of e to the power x. Sine of e to the power x. So now I have dy by dt in terms of e to the power x in, in terms of x, dt by dz in terms of x, and dz by dx in terms of x. So let's multiply all this. So I'll write here the same thing here, this, this guy. So my dy by dx as a thing, but dy by dt that is 1 by cos of e to the power x into dt by dz that is this guy minus sine of e to the power x into dz by dx that is e to the power x and that is my answer and sine by cos is tan so I can simplify this as minus tan e to the power x into e to the power x and that is my answer. So what I have done, I have, I knew that this is a composite function so I wrote, wrote this function will become y is equal to log t and then t is equal to cos z and z is equal to e to the power x. So then I wrote d by by dx is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dz into dz by dx. I found the value of all these three, multiplied and got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.